the main pool, the one that I remember from before, you take a quick dip, but I can see that the falls go way, way, way up. I think I'm going to take a bit of an excursion to that. overlook on the way to various waterfalls here in Mindoro Oriental. Beautiful actually. Cool up here too. You kind of see the falls here uh, in the background, the Tamarau Falls. They look great. on this side of the falls, but once you cross the road here, there's like a mini falls here. Tamara Falls is a little more wild than I remember. So one thing that's great about this particular trip to Gordon Falls is that the road is paved. Yeah, it's paved. So we actually got here pretty quick. And this time the cart. 
Looks like it actually has uh, seats in it, which is nice. So uh, ready to rock. Yeah, ready to rock. Let's go. Oh. Yeah, to <laughs> Go with the club. Guys, collecting coconuts, buko. Neo, that's not buko, that's neo. That's neo? Huh, look like buko. It is older buko, that's why it's called Oh, neo. look what we got. I think they represent the lollipop guild. <laughs> the amount of bumping that's going on right now, you can't really probably tell because of the uh, gimbal. But it's crazy bumping on the tire. This is sort of the main area that I remember from last time. Uh, I guess the truck doesn't come down here anymore. You can actually see the roads not paved which is what the whole five kilometer trek was like before to get down here. They said they were gonna fix this. They said they're gonna fix it. Mm -hmm. Up to the, up to the end. It was all like... Up to the river. Yeah. And before, is there a bit before? No. It was uh, open. open and I got rained on. Yeah, I see that. video that I shot before it was almost so shaky you couldn't use it. Cold really? Yeah.
Trying to uh, shoot with the <laughs> in his cart, he's like crazy bouncing around. And uh, I was shooting with a GoPro in narrow field. I had it on the uh, EVO gimbal, and it looked pretty stable. Uh, when I had it in wide mode on the gimbal, it was perfectly stable, which was crazy because I was bouncing like, oh man, there's a rut up here like you wouldn't believe. Oh. I would be thoroughly lost if I tried to walk this. <laughs> Even having come here before, it's just a couple of twists and turns and crossing different rivers, whether you actually cross it or go down it like we are on this one. We get out of the Carabao cart here at the Gordon Falls. There's a uh, bit of an area we're gonna have to walk to actually get to the falls, but there's also like a covered area and a little sorry, sorry type store here. And I said, they they might need to sell Bagong Puit here because after that ass breaking ride, it's uh, one and a half kilometers, took 30 minutes in the park. Oh my God, I need a new backside. There was a big flood. Some of the cottages that were here before got washed out. It's actually decent of the guy to unhitch the caribou and let it sit in the water down here. Just cooling it off. That was nice of him. I'm not sure if I'm bad for that thing. Thought about taking these boots off. But I gotta protect my feet and they're walk'em dry boots. So I guess today's the day I get to see uh, how fast I can walk them dry. I wouldn't wanna do this in bare feet. I haven't been able to find a good pair of sandals that keeps the darn stones out.
times more powerful than they were before. things get dangerous. Going this way. Something tells me it's going to be deep. There goes nothing. It's definitely deep. I can't reach the bottom. I'll tell you, these Rocky STVs they have like a little floating action, actually. They're not too bad. <laughs> I was up on the falls flying the drone and there were a couple of sprinkles of rain, but it, it wasn't raining, so I'm like, ah, I'll be all right. So the drone's got to be 100 meters up, probably 100 meters away, and the rain just, I can feel the heavy drops starting to come, and I'm like, oh boy, this is a downpour. So I, what can I say, hastily, <laughs> cinematic uh, mode, flew my drone back to the rock that I was on and landed the damn thing in the rain. And luckily I had an umbrella and a waterproof bag. And the first thing I did when I grabbed the drone is I have these uh, super absorbent towels and I just pop the battery out. Doesn't look like any of the battery assembly or anywhere it contacts or anything got wet. And then I wrapped everything in the towels, kind of dried them off as best I could under the umbrella, and came back down the falls. And now that I'm here, I'm just taking the time to dry it off, wrap it back in the towel. Some of my, my bags got wet, controller, that kind of thing. I could see that it got a little moist under my shell my camera gimbal protector. So I popped that off as soon as I got out down here too. You can see a little condensation in there. Obviously there's a cooling port there. Gimbal gets hot. So I'm gonna dry it out for a couple days and uh, hopefully she'll start right up. Live and learn. The Rocky STVs were awesome. They took on a little gravel, but you can see I didn't have them laced up all the way. If I had a laced and tight, I don't think they would have taken on the gravel. Um, and it was just a little bit. You kind of see some still there. But uh, they felt light. They felt good even though they were wet. Uh, I was able to swim in the deep water with them. Uh, they even felt as if they floated a little bit. That might be because of these. I don't know. And uh, my right sock 
Actually, uh, double layer sock. Everything worked great today. I'm happy with these. Didn't get a chance to walk them dry because it's wet and still raining. So they did push the water out. You can see. Uh, I definitely watched the water just pushing out after I was uh, coming out of the deep. A couple of days ago, I was at another set of falls, and while I was flying the drone, I wasn't really paying attention to what my feet were doing. And I'd been in the waterfall, I'd had my shoes off, and I got, I got fire ant. I got fire anted. I got bit by fire ants with these little black things. I forget what they call them. My legs. <laughs> Oh my god, look at this. That's just one side of one leg. Those fire ant bites, man, oh my god, do they itch. I've been plastering them with uh, lemon juice and uh, baking soda. Pa a paste made of baking soda, it seems to be the only thing that stops that horrendous itch. Uh, but god, man, they take forever to heal. So that's a wrap, I'm all packed up. Uh, lessons learned when flying drones in the Philippines. Have an umbrella in case your landing is compromised by rain and you need to uh, protect the drone while you're packing up. And bring a waterproof sack. And uh, uh, the towels, the uh, travel towels, the super absorbent thin travel towels, they're great. They suck all the moisture right out. Um, they're great for wrapping it up. Uh, I think I'm going to be okay. This little shop at the base of the falls is selling pure honey. Mm. I'm about to taste some and then very likely buy some. It's honey time. Wow. I practically taste the honeycomb. It's amazing. Can't beat the TP ashtray. Oh, this one I'm so, but it's small. What's that? And what's the goal? Who? The cow. Oh yeah. All right. Bye to Kurun Falls. Bye, ladies. Salama. I guess we're waiting for the caravan to do its business. Okay, he's done. <laughs> I think that yeah. was pretty amazing. Uh, I went up the falls farther than I've ever been up before, but when I flew the drone up there, I was amazed at how far up those falls go and how many pools there are. Um, it's really remarkable. Uh, it's a shame it started raining. I would have loved to have flown that thing all the way up the mountain. Next time. Bawal pemandiku don, don tu ya, bawal pemandiku don. Ayo kita aspa. Apa nak kita buat don? Ayo kan don. Kalau pun hilang ulang, bilas. Kalau masih di pala aku itu pegang dekat ni. Aku kan ada dulu sokong, aku tak sak sak kepet tu. Buti ka perangot na yung binaksak ko. <laughs> Ayoko kasi mabasa yung sapatos ko kung ano yung pagkinapas ako.
Labangas mong dito? Hi. OMG. Kus, uh, kailangan, ka, kailangan ko ang bagong puwit. Maybe you guys can sell them there next time. Salamat. Walang aswa. Tabi lang si Prof. I'll tell you, this is, oh, this is a heck of a ride. Come up, come up, If we just hold on. <laughs> this is really ridiculous. I dropped my GoPro without the case in the falls where we were sitting. Mm. I don't know how I got it back. I just grabbed and grabbed and grabbed until I found it. You know, you always still have to bring your goggles all yeah. the time. If that thing happens, you know, it's easy. It's easier for you to see. It. Well, they have a floating handle for it, so I should probably get something like that. Mm. But I usually just like to use the straps. Yeah, because it's it's much. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up 
and be sure and subscribe for more content from the Philippines.